Thanks so much, Jacob. Hundreds gathered at Mississippi State today to learn more about substance abuse. Our Riley Livingston speaks with speakers and coordinators to find out why an event like this is so important. She joins us live in the studio with more. Riley? From tobacco to alcohol to opioids, the Community Counseling Prevention Services teamed up with organizations like MSU to help people understand the effects of addiction. The Substance Abuse Prevention Conference took over MSU's campus Saturday. Arlene Weatherby wanted to start the conference after recognizing that there was a problem in the community. We are losing young people, middle-aged people, uh, to drugs and alcohol. And if we do not stop this epidemic, we are just going to just lo lose a whole slew of people. And we can't arrest the problem by putting people in jail. People need to know that um, uh, this is an addiction, this is a mental health problem. And and that there are resources out there. The event featured keynote speakers from all over the country. They came to talk about so things from the science behind addiction to providing a positive outlook on quitting. We're here because people need hope. People need to know that adversities and challenges come to make you stronger. And that's who I am. And that's what I've been doing for almost 22 years, just traveling and letting people know that it's possible. You can get out of the rut that you're in. Dr. Victor DeNoble has a long history of studying studying the causes for addiction and made it his mission to tell people that it is more than a habit. People don't realize that drug addiction is a brain disease. It's not, it's not a habit. Um, when people are addicted to a drug, they have fundamentally changed the way their brain functions. And the drug has taken their choice away. So these people who've become drug addicts, they made bad choices, but now the drug is making them do bad things because they need that drug. It wasn't just adults in attendance. Many parents brought their kids to try and prevent them from falling into substance abuse. It is so important that families come together because when we go into the schools, the kids are only hearing the message. But when their parents come and they hear the message, they are more apt to sit down and talk with their kids at home. Dr. DeNoble specializes in working with children and says that seeing so many people bringing their kids shows a united community. The nod to this community that you know, people are here with their kids and they're bringing their kids to a campus to talk about something that's so important to their community. They're here for their kids, and, that, and that's fantastic. The Community Counseling Services hopes to continue the event next year.